welcome to the show. I can see that all of you are ready to know what we have for you this time. Well, I can tell you that we'll have lots of fun and we'll learn some new things along the way. Hey, listen to this. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Now, do you know what we are going to talk about today? Ah, oh, no, it's not about fish. Yes, we are going to look at numbers. Here, look at my display. I'll show you what we're going to be watching and learning today. We're going to learn about numbers in tens. Then, Mr. Hans will teach us how to make something interesting and useful. And after that, we will learn how to ask questions. Later, we're going to listen to a story about the Little Mermaid. And finally, we're going to learn another wonderful song. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. So don't go away. See ya. Hey, look. It's our friends again. Hi there. Hi there, all of you. Next. What are you going to teach us today? Oh, we're going to learn about numbers. Can you tell me what number this is? It is number 10. It is number 30. It is number 50. This is number 70. It is number 90. Is number 100. Good. Now, can you spell these numbers? T W E N T Y 20. F O R T Y 40. S I X T Y 60. E I G H T Y 80. Well, that's very good. Now, let's play this game. Each of you pick a card with a number on it. You can ask your friend a question about the number. They can answer, yes it is, if the answer is right. If it's not, then they'll have to give the correct answer. Hold on, Nick. Let me get the cards first. Is this number 30? Yes, it is. Is this number 50? No, it's not. It's number 60. Is this number 80? Yes, it is. Great! All of you did so well. I hope you have learned to say the numbers and spell them correctly. You can also try to spell other numbers. Bye! This is a job for Spellman. Hmm. Hmm. Fifty five. Fifty five. Hmm. Oh no. Hmm. 
One hundred. One hundred. <laughs> Hi, glad to meet you again. Have you been behaving well lately? I'm sure you have. So that's why I'm going to teach you how to make another toy. Guess what it is? A paper puppet. Let's begin. First, make a square from an A4 sized paper. We fold one side of the paper diagonally across and let the edges meet like this. Now, we are going to cut this portion away. But before that, you have to mark the part which you are going to cut. You can just fold it nicely to get a marked line like this. Now, you can cut it with a pair of scissors or a cutter. And this is what we have. A rectangular piece of paper and a square. But for this time, do not throw the smaller piece away because we are going to need it to make our craft. So, let's begin. We'll start with a small piece first. Simply fold it once. Fold it twice. And fold another time. So this one is ready for use. That's all, but put it aside and we'll take it out later. Now let's focus on the bigger portion, that is the square piece of paper. As we can see, we already have a diagonal line across here. So now, we are going to make another fold across like this. Now, we have got two diagonal folds crossing each other with a fold mark at the center. Next, we are going to fold all the sides to the center like this. Now, the next step is to turn the paper over. Now, make two more folds to the center this way. Press the folds well and neatly. And after that, turn back the paper again. So this is how our fold looks like now. Now, it's time to take back the smaller piece that we have folded just now. We are now going to insert the small folded piece into the bigger one. Watch carefully. First, we've got to lift up this center covering fold and insert it right to the top end of the middle part this way. Now, it is also very important that this part sticks well into the center as this is going to be the backbone of our puppet. You may use some glue or perhaps a double-sided tape to let it stick there nicely. So now that is done, we should fold the top part of the paper together with the folded paper inside it like this. 
press hard and neatly and we have them looking like this. Our puppet is almost ready now as we have to fold both sides like this to have the small folded paper hidden inside. So, can you see it? Looks cool, isn't it? Now, the last part of our job is to turn back the paper again. And this time, we need to insert the thumb underneath both sides of the fold and press them nicely. Slowly. Okay. Pull it down like this and let's see how it looks like on the other side again. See? Now the puppet is ready. So this is supposed to be the face. Looks like one, isn't it? So, use all your creative talents to make the puppet look real by decorating them. You can use colors to make the eyes, the lips, or the cheeks. So it's time to play. Have a good day. Bye! Again, now we are going to learn about a word family. We are going to look at places. There are many places in your school. Here are some of them. Library. Library. Canteen. Canteen. Field. Field. Office, office, hall, hall, toilet, toilet. Well, that's just six of them. Can you name other places you know in your school? Happy trying! Today, we are going to look at words that are used to ask questions. Here are some of them. Who? What? Where? When? Who is used to ask about people? Who are those girls? Who is your English teacher? What is used to ask about animals and things? What animal is this? What is on the desk? Where is used to ask about places? Where are you going? Where is the car? When is used to ask about time? When are you going home? When is your birthday? Well, that's how we use words to ask questions. Bye! Six. 
six, 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 six. Now sit back and enjoy this interesting story. It's called The Little Mermaid. Just watch and listen. A long, long time ago, in the deep blue sea, lived a sea king and his six beautiful daughters. They were mermaids. His youngest daughter was the loveliest of all. She also had a beautiful voice. When the little mermaid sang, there wasn't any sound in the sea or on land that was more beautiful than her voice. But the little mermaid wanted so much to see the world above. When she was old enough, her father gave her permission to swim to the surface. There she would sit on the rocks and watch the ships pass by. One day, she saw a handsome prince sailing on a ship. The little mermaid fell in love with him. She wanted to swim out to him, but she knew she could not. Suddenly, a storm started. A strong wind blew and the waves became bigger and bigger. The prince's ship began to sink. At once, the little mermaid dived into the water. She rescued the handsome prince and took him to the beach. Then she heard someone coming. Quickly, the little mermaid hid behind a rock. She saw a beautiful girl standing over the prince. At last, said the beautiful girl, I have found someone handsome and rich. Ha 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 ha. The little mermaid was very sad. She turned and swam away. All day long, she would think of the prince. Finally, she went to the sea witch to get help. Please, sea witch, help me. I want to go to the world above to be with my prince, she said. I will help you. But you must agree to give me your beautiful voice, replied the wicked sea witch. But remember, if the prince loves you, you will remain in his world forever. And if he loves somebody else, then on his wedding day, you will die, she added. Yes, yes. I agree, said the little mermaid. She soon fell into a deep sleep. She woke up on the beach and found that she had legs. Her tail and fins were gone. The prince found her. She tried to speak to him, but no voice came out from her mouth. The prince felt sorry for her. Quickly, he took her back to his palace. The little mermaid met the beautiful girl that she had seen on the beach. The prince told the little mermaid that he was going to marry the beautiful girl soon. The little mermaid was heartbroken. The prince's wedding day finally arrived. The little mermaid met the beautiful girl just before the wedding. The beautiful girl scolded the little mermaid. After the wedding, I will not let you come into my palace, she said. The poor little mermaid was very, very sad. She ran to the beach and cried. Please don't cry. She heard a voice sing. It was the prince. It is you I love, not her. The prince married the little mermaid, and when he kissed her hand, the spell of the evil sea witch was broken. The little mermaid could speak and sing melodiously again, and she and the prince lived happily ever after. Ah! 
It's time to join words together to form compound words. Here are three of them. Water. Melon. Watermelon. Watermelon. Moto. Cycle. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Neck. Tie. Necktie. Necktie. First, let's have, have lots, lots of fun. fun. Guess what we're going to do? Let's count them one by one. Ten is where we'll start, and then we'll count on all. Ten and ten is twenty, then thirty comes along. And ten, you get forty, you just can't get it wrong. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty looks just fine. Ten more. Gives you ninety, one hundred, the end of the line. Look at all these numbers, let's have, have lots, lots of fun. fun. Guess what we're going to do? Let's count them one by one. Ten is where we'll start, and then we'll count on all. Ten and ten is twenty, then thirty comes along. Can you get 40? You just can't get it wrong. 50, 60, 70, 80 looks just fine. 10 more gives you 90, 100, the end of the line. Well, everyone, I hope you learned a lot today. Do join me again as I have so many other things to share with you. Bye for now. Bye.